Hello everyone, I hope you're having a really good morning so far. So today we are celebrating the day of Pentecost and so today I'm going to tell you the story of Pentecost. So maybe if you were in Sunday Club last week you actually might have heard this story and maybe you remember a bit of it but this will be a bit of a refresher for you anyway. So I need you to use your listening ears and I need you to see if you can hear what the special gift was that God gave to his people. God sends help. Jesus' friends and helpers huddled together in a stuffy upstairs room. Even though it was sunny outside, the shutters were closed and the door was locked. Wait in Jerusalem, Jesus had told them. I am going to send you a special present. God's power is going to come to you. God's Holy Spirit is coming. So here they were, waiting. Actually, mostly what they were doing was just being scared and hiding. And you can't blame them. Their best friend had just left them. The important people and the leaders were after them. And Jesus had given them a job that they didn't know how to do. As they waited, they were praying and remembering. Remembering how, from the very beginning, God had been working out his secret rescue plan. Suddenly a strong wind filled the little room, whistling through the walls, rustling in the straw on the floor. And there, on everyone's heads, shining in the gloom, were flickering flames. Fire, but fire that didn't hurt or burn. And something more, inside, in their hearts, they felt a strange heat. Almost as if all the coldness and hardness were melting away. As if their broken hearts were mending and God was giving them brand new hearts. Hearts that could work properly. How it happened they didn't know. But they knew God's power had struck their hearts ablaze. And Jesus himself was coming to live inside them. They had seen Jesus go away. But now, now he was closer than they could have ever been, inside their hearts. And this time, nothing could ever separate them. Jesus would always be there, with them, loving them, whispering the promise that would get rid of the poison and the terrible lies and the sickness in their hearts. God's wonderful promise to them, you are my child and I love you. Make your home in me as I make my home in you, Jesus had said. Could it be? Heaven was coming into their hearts. They threw open the shutters. Sunlight flooded their room, as love had flooded their hearts. And the little room was filled with happy noises, dancing feet, singing and laughing. They unlocked the door and surged out onto the streets, as if they had never been afraid. Peter spoke in a loud voice, so everyone could hear. Jesus died for you, he said. Because he loves you. But God made him alive again. He has rescued you. People stopped. And they listened. The word sank down deep into their hearts and worked like a medicine that makes you well. Like an antidote to a deadly poison. Like a kiss that wakes you from a deep sleep. Stop running away from God, Peter said. Run to him instead so he can love you and make you free. And Peter told them the wonderful story of God's love. God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. How Jesus had come, all that had happened. There were lots of people from faraway countries in Jerusalem. They couldn't speak the same language, but as they listened to Peter, everyone could understand what he was saying in their own languages. Many people believed and became Jesus' new friends and helpers. And the wonderful news of Jesus spread like sparks from a fire to villages, towns and cities. Every day, more and more people believed. And so it was that the family of God's children, his special people, grew. One man was watching I'll stop this, Saul said. But this was God's plan, and nothing in all the world would ever be able to stop it. Wasn't that an amazing story? 
And the class thing is, the story doesn't end there. The story keeps on going all throughout history up to us. And it will go on after us as well. You see, God's Holy Spirit is with us now. And that was the answer that you were looking for. The gift that God gave his people was his Holy Spirit. So what we're going to do now is we are going to close our eyes and put our hands together and we are going to pray. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the day of Pentecost when we remember that you gave us your Holy Spirit so that we could talk to you whenever we wanted. Be with us this week as we go into school and as we see our friends and family again. And God help us um, to be kind to them as well. Amen. So we hope to see you next Sunday here again when we'll have another Kids Talk. Bye.